Hey friends, welcome to my channel, Heidi Samba Home. In today's episode, I am sharing my favorite Amazon finds for the home. There are a lot of different categories that we're gonna be covering, so let's go ahead and get started. Up first, I have this noisy little thing here, and it is amazing. Friends, when I came across this because I had a need for it, I found this on Amazon and I could not believe all of the different sizes. So you know how you have shelves, bookshelves like this in your house and they come with a standard little pin that goes in it. But when you lose one of those pins and you're moving from place to place, they just kind of go missing sometimes. They fall out and sometimes you need more of them. This little item has all of these different type of pins that you would need and it fits all kinds of different cabinets. So anytime you are working with wanting to shift things around on shelves or one just goes missing, this is definitely gonna help you do it. The next item I wanna share is this wall light. This wall light is amazing for a couple of reasons. Number one is that it has a rotating head on it. So let's say you plug this into a hallway and the light is kind of coming down to your room where you don't want to see the light, you can rotate the light towards the room of the child who needs the light. It is so awesome for that purpose. You can also light it up by turning it up the, to the ceiling, which will really brighten up the space, or you can turn it down. And the other reason why I like it is, let's say you want it to be even brighter because you have guests in town visiting, you can plug one into the lower outlet, one into the top outlet, you can point it down, and the second one you can point it up. There is a little sensor on it, so during the daytime they turn off, and at nighttime they turn on. And when you don't need them anymore, you just unplug them. Now sticking to the home improvement, items this next one i get asked about all the time these mats even when people come to visit my home they say hey where'd you get those mats i'm gonna link them because honestly i get asked about them all the time every time i show my craft room on instagram or here on youtube over on my heidi sample diy channel i get asked about them all the time so they're just big old mats and i like them because they actually come with the edging so it has a nice finished look on them but it was a really great deal i did a lot of research and this was the one that i liked the most and you can see that it's a nice thick mat so this is really great if you have a workout area or if you have pets and you want to put this down on your tiles just to help keep things from getting scratched this is really awesome now we're gonna move on to kitchen home items. I love these products so much. I use them all the time and they have just honestly made my life so much easier in the kitchen or it's made things really beautiful on a dinner table when I'm hosting a party in my home. This first item I found on Instagram as an advertisement and I ran over to Amazon and bought one right away because my daughter loves strawberries. I'm not even exaggerating. She asks me for strawberries every day when I bring them home, she wants to eat the whole carton. So this little thing opens up when you push on it and it allows you to be able to go into the strawberries where the stem is. You can grab it, lock onto it, twist it and pull it out and it de-stems the strawberries without having to waste all the red around the edging of the strawberry. This is really cost efficient because it allows you to have more strawberry left over and it allows you to be able to clean them up really quick and efficiently. We really love waffles in our house and I had a waffle maker since my husband and I got married. We just celebrated our 22nd anniversary <laughs> and I still have things from when we got married for wedding gifts. Do you still have that? Leave a comment down below to let me know if you still have wedding items and what your wedding item is that you still have. But I ended up deciding to get a new waffle maker because the one we had was so old. I just wanted to get a new one that cooked faster and this one actually does. I love this waffle maker. I actually ended up purchasing two of them so that when we have parties at our house or we have guests in town, I can line them up, these two waffle makers, and people can make waffles super quick, super efficient. I love that it has the control on it so that you can 
check your temperature of how toasty and crispy you want your waffle and it works really great. Basically we learned that as long as the steam is going, it's still cooking and as the steam slows down, it means that it's done cooking and the light will pop on. I have searched long and hard for really beautiful, sturdy dinner plates that I can use day to day and be able to host, you know, friends coming over for dinner. I found these really beautiful, strong, well-made plates. I love these plates. So if you're looking for some good dinner plates that are just a neutral, this is a great one. And then the other thing were these beautiful woven placemats. I just really like neutral looking things so that I can put these two as a base. So it looks like that. And then I can put salad plates that are more fun and festive because salad plates are easier to host because they're smaller and you can stack them better. So I always like to do a neutral white plate for dinner and then a really pretty placemat and then a fun, really cute, like with sunflowers on it, I don't know, a bunny on it for Easter or Christmas tree or Santa. I love to stack them like that because it really goes a long way if you have a small kitchen and you don't have a lot of space to host a ton of different theme plates. Now I'm gonna move on to family games and kid craft type activities. Up first is partners. Oh my word, this is my favorite game. My all time favorite game. I always liked Sorry as a kid and I saw this as an advertisement on YouTube. I ran and bought this one too and it is so much fun. It's basically a grown up version of the game Sorry. You have to be eight years or older to be able to play the game. Now honestly the reason why I think it's eight and up because I think younger kids could play it too. It's easy to get the concept but it's because it's kind of a tough game meaning like you are a little bit scrappier playing this game. I'm trying to use nice words with little kids. <laughs> Basically, they can get their feelings hurt playing this game and I think adults just play it a little bit better or eight years and up play it a little bit better because you're kind of sneaky playing this game. Oh my word, friends, I have played this game so many times. I cannot recommend it enough. Pick it up for your family. Four people can play it. It is a hoot. You're screaming and cheering and again, I can't say enough about it. Another game, because let's get real, who's actually good at trivia? <laughs> trivia Pursuit games. I don't know anybody that is except for a couple people in my life and everybody else just kind of stinks at the game because it's a hard game. You gotta know a lot of stuff. But this Disney trivia, if you love Disney, you will love this game. On top of it, there's all kinds of cute little pieces inside of it that lets you see the characters. You'll be able to review the game even better if you click on that link down below for Amazon. I love this game and my kids love this game because they can actually play it. It's so funny, we've never watched High School Musical and there's actually a couple questions in there and we all keep saying, oh my word, we just need to watch High School Musical so we stop bombing on those questions. <laughs> now the next one is not a game but it is such a great way to connect with your family. There are these little cards in a cube and you basically pull out the card and you're just trying not to lose your spot. We always try to go one direction. And once you do, you can ask a question and everybody around the table or in the car gets to answer it. So this one says, what's your favorite dessert? And then everybody gets to take their turn sharing what their favorite dessert is. And it's a great way just to connect with your kids. Now I'm gonna move on to kids crafts because, you know, whether they're boys or girls, honestly, kids are all crafty. And these kits are, okay, so let me say that I started with this one. This was the first one that I purchased, and I'm gonna hold it up close so you can see it. They are these little felt cutouts, and you get to sew the kitten all the way around. It's got all of these different cats, and you basically stuff them and add their little eyes on them. I'm gonna take one out. You can tell that the box has been well loved. It comes with batting inside of it. It comes with the instructions for the different kitties. And then it comes with the needles. And each kit looks like this. You get it like this in a little bag. There's holes that are perforated all around the felt kitty and you sew it. 
It is such a great hand-eye coordination craft for kids. And on top of it, they're little cats. And Christmas is a big deal in our home, which is the reason why I decided to show this next one a little bit early because it is just adorable. I cannot wait because we do countdowns to um, Christmas. This is a Christmas one. This is the newest one that just came out from this company. And it is adorable. It's got, um, let's see, makes eight fun projects. You've got a snowman, a gingerbread man, an elf, Mrs. Claus, Mr. Claus, a stocking, a Christmas tree, and a little reindeer. This is such a great one to pick up for kids if you want them to practice their crafting skills and you want a little project to do with them side by side. I, I love these sticker books. When I was a kid, we would do paint by numbers, which I'm still a fan of. I'm not featuring paint by numbers here on my channel today, but I love paint by stickers. I don't know if you've seen these or not. I'm gonna share them because they are so entertaining for kids. Now you're gonna see this has been, this is a very well loved book where we rip the pages out. <laughs> this is just how we do this book. But basically you find your page that you wanna do in here and it's got all of the little numbers that you need and you find the coordinating stickers and you do the artwork that fills in all of the little spaces. So let me show you what the little sticker sheets look like. They look like this and they're so stinking fun for kids. I love to take this to church with us. My daughter will sit there very quietly, very reverently and she will work on filling in the stickers on these books. So if you're looking for an activity that's good to keep kids quiet for a long time, this is one because it's super satisfying. Every time they fill in another space, the picture becomes more and more detailed and it kind of has a geometric look to it, which is really fun and exciting for kids. If you haven't already and you are enjoying this video, don't forget to click the button down below that gives this video a thumbs up. And I also have a craft Amazon video haul over on my Heidi Sumble DIY channel. I will link that at the end of this video so you can check out all of my favorite crafting hauls that I found on Amazon. There are countless toys on Amazon and honestly, I feel like a lot of them are junk. <laughs> That's just me speaking from experience, from being a mom for 20 years. My oldest is 20. So I <laughs> have done a lot of research about trying to find things that stretch their imagination, that help them be creative, and um, just get lost in the project, you know? Like they're having a good time. So I found these super fun straws. Open it up so I can show you. There are these little straws and they have these little in connector pieces. So I'm gonna hold it a little closer so you can see. And let's see if it's working. Okay, they've got these little ends that connect and they basically help you lock the straws together. And you can go in different directions. It kind of reminds me of like PVC pipes where you can, you know, connect a bunch of stuff. These are so great because they store really well in their nice container and you can make the biggest things out of them. I'm not even kidding you. You could like make a cute dollhouse so your kid can actually climb inside them. If you put a light enough sheet on it, they can actually turn it into like a little fort. You can turn it into a boat. You can turn it into, I don't know all sorts of stuff. And because the straws actually bend really easily, you can actually create things that have a rounded edge, a sphere type shape. Really great product to have. And then it stores nicely underneath a sofa, in a cabinet, underneath a bed. I, as a kid, had a lady who lived across the street. Her name was Harriet and she was so instrumental in my life growing up. I spent a lot of time with Harriet. And she had these sand art pieces and they are so entertaining. I finally found one that is really great and works really well. So what you do is you take it and you flip it over and inside of these flat, you can see it's flat, inside of these flat circles are bubbles and the bubbles 
are slowly letting the sand fall down. And as the sand continues to fall down, it makes a really beautiful mountainscape. Now we've got a lot of, you know, anxiety in our lives and we have some special needs in our home and this is something that really helps calm down those individuals. Even myself when I'm feeling anxious, I love to flip this over and just watch the sand slowly fall through and create these mountainscapes. It is so stinking cool. If you don't have one and have never had one of these before, they're really amazing to have on a table somewhere in your home. This next one is huge and I can barely lift it because it's kind of heavy. But um, my son when he was in high school, when he was a senior, he was on the tennis team and he fell in love with tennis. And then he became aware of what pickleball was. And he <laughs> was just like in love with pickleball. And so I decided to do some research to see if I could find him a portable pickleball net that he could take with him to when he goes to church or he goes to like the gym just to find a place to set it up. And it worked. I found this really awesome collapsible pickleball net that's really easy to put together. It's a great price and the cutest thing is is that he just keeps this in the trunk of his car and anytime he goes somewhere, like even in a parking lot, he can put this up and play with anybody that he's with. And one more thing I can't forget to share that is just a fun item to have in your home. Pool tables are super expensive. And on top of it, once you bring it into your home, a lot of times you have to kind of like build them, put the legs on them. And they're so heavy that if you ever go to move, you can't take that thing with you because it's just, it's too hard, honestly. I've known many people who have had pool tables in their homes and they just leave them in the basement and they sell them with the home. But I found one because I wanted to get one. My husband loves playing pool, especially with my kids. And I found one on Amazon that's a collapsible pool table that's a great size that allows you to be able to play pool and collapse it when you want to collapse it and store it away when you want to store it or move it with you when you move. We love this one. We've had it for over a year now. It is a great quality. All right, the next one, it's not Christmas yet, but I thought I would share it because I found a really great six foot Christmas tree that I actually have. I'm trying to think how many of them I have. I love it so much that I have five of them. <laughs> I've just been collecting them every time I'm like, I want to put a tree in my kid's room and I will purchase another one or I want to put a tree in the dining room. It's six foot, it's flocked and it's really full. They designed this tree really well so that it's nice and thick and it not kind of see-through. Like you buy Christmas trees online and you're at the risk of having a Christmas tree that looks a little skimpy. That's the word I'm looking for, skimpy. Once you fluff all the branches out, it looks so full and so beautiful. Now let's move on to home decor that I love and have purchased more than one of. Up first, I'm going to share my favorite umbrella. <laughs> in fact, this is a new one that I have to still put out in my backyard because I wanted to put one at a table and I love this umbrella. It is such a great quality. It's just, it does a really great job and it's a great size. Now I will say that it does need a stand. So I will link the stand down below in the description box that I use for my umbrellas. But I have three of them that I use, two on the deck, one at our table on our patio. And it just, they're so pretty. They come in a lot of different colors. Black and white is what I like to do, so it's neutral. And then all my flowers pop in the garden. But this is a great find, this umbrella. Definitely give this one a try if you're looking for some outside home decor. I love a good farmhouse lamp, and sometimes they can be kind of pricey. I did a lot of research when we first moved to this house, and I actually found one that is just so beautiful, and it's just, I like traditional farmhouse. I want to have a little bit of that traditional look where it's 
clean and crisp, beautiful lines, but it has a little bit of distressing. It's actually this lamp that's right here behind me. I have two of them here in my craft room, and I have two of them in my bedroom. They're such beautiful lamps, and the shades on them are a nice crisp white, so when you put a light bulb in it, it really illuminates the room. I can't stand when you buy a lamp and it has like a yellow tint to the lampshades, and then your room has like a yellowish tint to it. I don't really like that, so <laughs> after doing a lot of research, I found these lamps that have this really nice crisp white lamp shade that goes on them. When I purchased a new kitchen table, which I actually purchased our kitchen table on Amazon, so I'll link that too, I needed chairs because the table didn't come with chairs, and it was a great deal for the table. I will take it for the price that I got it for, but I needed to pick up some chairs that weren't too crazy expensive that were a good price. So I found these really beautiful farmhouse chairs where the spindles, the back, and the legs are all white, and then the seat is a really pretty wood grain that allows them to look very farmhouse, easy to clean. I liked that the seat was wood so I can clean them, because sometimes when you get chairs where the seats are white and you have kids, let's get real <laughs> sometimes you have to scrub that part a little bit harder so the wood being there even if there's a little bit of a stain or something on the chair I, it cleans really well because it's a wood toned seat part of the chair we needed side tables quick and i needed something that was affordable to be able to put in our family room and i found these really cute side tables that were really easy to put together and i personally think that they do have some good storage opportunities because you can put a basket underneath and put some blankets in it next to a chair which would look really nice in any room. So I really like ours. It comes in a couple different colors. I'm going to link the one that I purchased just because that's the one I purchased and that's the one I know best and I can speak highly of. I really like them a lot and they clean really well. I like the surface of them. Two more things to share on the home decor items. The next one is a large basket. And I would almost say it's like past the basket. It's like a piece of furniture because, oh, it's like a trunk, a trunk basket. That's what we're going to call it. I actually was doing quite a bit of research trying to find one that I would like. And I found this one. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to tell you why I love it. It's lined on the inside so that I can put in all of my off-season pillows and blankets in it. It sits in the middle of our front room area and I have just like a tray on top of it. It is so great to be able to host all of my off-season pillows. And then when I'm ready for them, I just switch them out because they're right there in that wonderful trunk basket. It's so pretty. I don't know if it comes in other colors, but this one in particular, it just looks good in a lot of different spaces. Now we're going to move on to things that you would find in your garage or tools that you use for gardening. I cannot do an Amazon haul video without talking about this tool. I use it in my craft room. I use it all the time. Whenever we're working on projects, my husband's like, where's your staple gun? Because he uses it too. I use it so much that I actually bought a second one because I love it that much. Having a staple gun around your home is so great. For example, building these cabinets from Ikea, they have those press board pieces you put on the back and they have these tiny little nails you have to like nail in sometimes. You just use this. You go around and just basically staple the board on and it holds so amazingly well. If you have things in your home that are wood that are kind of breaking decor pieces you dropped on accident, you can use this to put things back together. I'll make sure to link the staples that I use as well. They come in different depths, so just make sure you get the depth that you need. But holy smokes, this is like a need. I think for women in general, this is so great. Now I will say if you do have arthritis at all, this is a little bit hard to push down with. It will hurt your hand if you use it consistently like five or six times in a row once is actually okay because you can use your palm to push down so i just want to make sure i'm giving a shout out to anyone who has arthritis to give you the truth that it's not that easy to use if you have arthritis but if you don't this is a great tool pick it up by it this is i cannot recommend it enough we're getting near to the end <laughs> 
even as I'm filming this, I'm like, whew, I got a lot of favorites on Amazon, but I want to make sure I link them all because, friends, I get asked questions all the time about these items. All right, or things like honestly that I just want to share that I think you would benefit from. When I found it, I was like, oh my word, I'm so glad I found this. So I wanted to share, you know, things that I like. All right, the next thing is in the garden spaces. I needed a really great tool rack and I had looked and looked and looked and I just felt like none of them were really great quality and then I found this particular one. Now I will say it takes a little bit longer to get there than other than two days, but it is the greatest tool rack. It mounted very easily onto our um, garage wall where we can hang up a lot of tools on it and it handles it very well. So I'm gonna link that one, this next one. <laughs> so, <laughs> this next one is this really awesome sun hat. I burn, I burn, that's just the truth. Heidi thinks that she can tan, she convinced herself when she was a teenager she can tan, she cannot tan, I burn. I burn very badly <laughs> all the time. And since I love gardening so much, I needed to find something that would not let me burn with a large brim hat. And the thing I like about this one the most is that I can actually put my hair up in a bun because let's get real, curly hair is like wearing a blanket on your head. In the summertime, it's really hot. And like my neck just gets, you know, sweaty. So I love this one because I can put my hair up in a bun. I love it too because it's got a hook so I can hook it up or a little loop and then you can adjust it so depending on how small or large your head is you're able to change the size of it and <laughs> it almost looked like a little bonnet I do declare <laughs> anyway this is a great sun hat I love it so much I think it came in different colors could not recommend this one enough and I have given it a serious beating being out in the yard doing a lot of gardening with this one. Oh my word. This is one of those items that I didn't think I needed it until I needed it. See how it collapses down. So we're now in the Midwest where we get leaves and we, you know, have trees sprouting up everywhere. In California, you're always trying to like get the trees to grow. And here, like you sneeze and a tree grows <laughs> because the winds carry the seeds and then the seeds just start growing. If you live in the Midwest, you know what I'm talking about if you're a gardener. So I just needed something other than the big paper bags all the time that I could put my weeds and things in and trees I don't want growing. I found these ones. I love, love them. I think there were two when I purchased this and it collapses down and you can actually lock it into place and it stores nicely. And when you need it, it just pops right up and it holds a lot in it. This is a find. I was so excited. And the um, fabric on it, it's almost like, um, like a tent kind of fabric. I don't know what that fabric's called. We're going to call it tent fabric. But this is a great one because you can do a lot of cleaning with it. Okay, this next one's kind of dirty, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna share it because it's expensive to aerate your grass and it's expensive to have someone come out and do it when you can do it yourself. And even renting the tool, I looked into it once to rent the tool from Home Depot and I was like, no way, it's too expensive and it's heavy as all get out to bring it to your home. So I found these I know they're so filthy. Can you tell we garden here at my house? We do. These are aerating shoes. They clip onto the bottom of your feet. I would recommend wearing some nice boots with them. And then they aerate your lawn. So let's say it's getting to that season where you want to put down some seed. You sprinkle your seed all over your lawn and then you put on some music and just dance all across your grass and you aerate your lawn with these babies. So I'm gonna, you can see here, it's got like a little part on the back to hold onto your heel. I'm gonna link them. These are filthy. I'm gonna put them down because I'm not in my gardening clothes. <laughs> and another video on another day, I will be sharing my garden and doing that whole tour because I like to garden. <laughs> but if you go over to Instagram, you'll see me talking about my garden all the time. I am in my garden probably like four days a week 
out there doing stuff. Another item that you would find in your garage. Listen, headlights, like the little headlights, they have come a long, long way. I don't know if you have seen these yet. The other ones were so bulky with the big thing on your forehead that you would, you know, see people spelunking. It's not the sport where they go down into caves. They would wear those. This new one, I found this and I gave it to my husband and he, he loves this thing. It is amazing. So I'm gonna put it on my head because, well, I should probably show you how it works. Ooh, it looks like I'm about to do like a, like an aerobic workout. Okay, it's bright. What? This thing is so bright. You don't have to have just one little focused light anymore. It lights up the entire area in front of you. There was a couple nights where I went out late and I was like speed walking in my neighborhood. Let's get real. I was kind of slow walking because <laughs> it was going up a hill. But I took this with me and it lit up my whole path in front of me. It was so amazing. I will say it's kind of a trip wearing it when it's mist or rain coming at you because you can actually see the rain coming towards you and the mist coming towards you. It's all lit up because that's how bright this thing is. This is amazing and you can actually adjust the head strap size so it's not, you know, so tight or loose. Look, if you're trying to get someone's attention in an emergency, keep this in your car. If your car breaks down in the nighttime, this thing is amazing. Oh my word, I cannot recommend this one enough. This is so cool to have in your garage, in your car, for an emergency. Now, I love water. It's something that is near and dear to me. Love it, can't live without it. My son is getting ready to go on his mission and I was doing some research wherever he goes on his mission. He can't always carry a huge water thermos with him. And so I found this where he can fill it up at the beginning of his trip that he's walking, riding a bike, whatever he's doing on his mission, he can fill it up and as he goes and it collapses, he can end up putting it back inside of his, his bag without it being too heavy. When he finds a place that has water, he fills it back up again and then he has water on him again. This is so stinking cool and it's very lightweight and it's a very great rubbery type material that's not gonna puncture easily. And I like it because it has a nice little handle on it too so that you could clip it, carabine, hook it to like a backpack if you wanted to. If you like doing morning devotionals, reading your scriptures, or you just like colored pencils, I don't know. I found this great kit that has all the colors. Can you tell? It's loved because some of them are rolling out of place. I'll fix that in a second because my kids use this a lot. But this is the coolest, has all the colors. I had one that I was using for myself. I loved it so much that I bought one for my son who's getting ready to go on his mission as he's been studying the Bible, Old Testament, New Testament, and the Book of Mormon. He has been able to use these to color his scriptures to mark things that he feels impressioned by, just uplifted by, to be able to mark his scriptures. I have been trying really, really hard to take better care of myself because I notoriously do not do those things for myself. So I'm gonna do a segment that's on beauty. And by beauty, I really mean take better care of yourself and relax or things that are gonna help you have a peaceful night of sleep or if you're feeling stressed. So my favorite items are, I have searched long and far for a blow dryer that is not ridiculously expensive because I just don't buy into that stuff. I usually let my hair just dry from wet until it's dry. But sometimes I need to do it fast and I have curly hair. So I love this one because it came with a huge diffuser piece on the tip of it so that I could take my hair and go like this <laughs> and dry my hair. I really like this blow dryer. I can't say enough nice things about it. And I liked that um, it's really easy to hold too. I feel like sometimes you buy blow dryers and the handles are just a little too complicated. And anyway, I like this one, sticking with the hair. I tortured my hair for years. I stopped coloring it about four years ago and I realized I still had a problem because my hair in the front, 
I couldn't get it to grow past my nose. It kept breaking. A lot of it was from dyeing it, and then I realized it was also from the hair bands I was putting in it. So these hair bands, first of all, they come like this, and they have so many colors in them. And I'm gonna tell you why I love them, because they are stretchy, and they don't have any metal pieces on them, and they don't have any pieces of plastic to fuse them like the black rubber bands do. These go in my hair, and they do not pull my hair out. They are so great for my daughter's hair. She is starting to have her curls kick in. It's usually right around eight to 10 when we start really getting curly hair in this family. It's just what my hair does and what my kids' hair do. Um, Anyway, these are really great because as her hair is getting more textured, they don't kill her hair when I put them in her hair and I can take them out really easy. And there's so many that come in the bag with all the different colors. I can coordinate them with her cute little outfits that she wears to school. Speaking of my daughter, she got her ears pierced one year ago. She was feeling really nervous one day and I was like, if we go right now, you can get your ears pierced. She wasn't supposed to pierce them until she turned eight. <laughs> but I let her go early because she was getting really worried and worked up about it. So I found this super cool earring display. You can see that it rotates around and it's so awesome because it holds a ton of earrings. We have had a funny little goal to collect different earrings for each holiday so that she can feel fancy on every holiday. <laughs> and just sometimes just, you know, cutie little things that she can wear to school. Going back to relaxation, I just purchased this because again, Heidi's trying to be better about Relax, Heidi, relax. <laughs> I found, I've been wanting a new one for a while. I found this really great foot tub because it actually, I'm gonna try to do it right here <laughs> so you can see it. It pops open where it can collapse and it allows you to store it better. So it has a little sensor inside of it so that you can have your foot massage. These suckers have come a long way. I remember the one that we had for years, it just would like vibrate and shake and you know, it wasn't terrible. But this one has like these little rollers in the bottom of it so that you can, you know, massage your little feet while it's doing all the cool shaky things in there. It comes with a little control panel so you can push the buttons while you're sitting back and relaxing and just, you know, giving yourself a little pedicure massage. I actually get pretty bad migraines because of stress and sometimes when storms roll in too. Leave a comment down below to let me know if you get headaches from storms rolling in. If you do not know what this is, this is a head scratcher. I'm not kidding. This is the most relaxing takeaway migraines. Anybody who has a headache, I'm like, oh, let me get the head scratcher. I can help you out. <laughs> so you take it like this and you put it on your head, and it, it feels great when you do it to yourself, but it feels even better when someone does it to you, and you basically just go down and gently, oh my word, it's so relaxing. Whoever it was that invented this head scratcher was pure genius, because this thing, it like tickles your hair follicles and it activates all of your nerves in your head, <laughs> and it just sends shivers down your shoulders, your neck, and you instantly feel this relax. So the one that I like, there's two in a pack. Sometimes you can find them around Christmas time in like the Target bullseye spots or like the Walmart dollar sections. You'll see them around Christmas time. I hold a lot of tension in my shoulders because I sleep really tight because I get really stressed. Again, you're kind of picking up on the fact that Heidi <laughs> like this, tight, tensed sometimes. This is the greatest massager. The switch is on the bottom to turn it on. You charge it with a cord on a regular electrical, you know, plug-in. And then the back can control how fast you would like it to go and it gets all the knots. I'm not kidding you. I This thing, again, helps me just be able to just relax. And it comes with different um, pieces for the top. They just pop out and you can switch them out. There's some where you can like dig really hard. 
there's some anyway you'll see it when I link it and I'm showing here in the images of all the different um, tips that it comes with that you can use but this thing is amazing I am sure everybody's gonna be recommending this thing because I already know some friends who already have but um, again um, if you get a lot of headaches and you just get really a lot of tension in your face this is amazing it's an eye massaging mask I will say if you have someone in your life who doesn't like things pushing up against their eyes at all this is not for them I'm not gonna lie to you there's a lot of people that are not saying that there are a lot of people that are oh it's so wonderful if you don't mind pressure around your eyes like this this is for you if you don't like pressure around your eyes this is not for you so I feel like the buttons are a little bit trickier to push on this but again it does wonders if you have a lot of eye pressure I originally bought it for my husband who gets ocular migraines sometimes and um, he really likes it no that's a lie he doesn't like it because he doesn't like eye pressure what was I saying <laughs> I really like it so now I basically use it for myself even though I bought it for him I'm here to tell the truth friends we're gonna tell the truth I said he really likes it no he doesn't he tried it a couple times and he's like Heidi that's not for me I don't like the pressure in my eyes but I like it because I don't mind the pressure in my eyes honestly <laughs> moving on the other thing because my husband doesn't like eye pressure is a sleep mask that actually is beveled it has like these domes on it he had for years told me how much he doesn't like eye masks because they push against his eyes again that's why he doesn't like that but I found a sleep eye mask apparently there were other individuals out there who did not like an eye mask pushing on their eyes as well this is amazing because it is like beveled out in here so this part sits on your face but it's not pushing on your eyelashes in your eye and then you can adjust it to however tight you want we have these for every member in our family because we have like I said someone earlier in this video who's afraid of the dark so um, you can put these on when you don't want the light coming down the hallway into your room all right the next one okay <laughs> face masks have become super popular again where you can buy all those little kits my skin freaks out it does not like those I cannot use them I've tried several different ones of them my skin is really sensitive and the one thing that does work I really like this face mask it is a cucumber face mask and it's a peeling face mask which is really fun so you basically put it on it goes on kind of goopy and then when it dries it starts to tighten your skin and it just does amazing things every time I ever use this my skin feels so refreshed and just tight and clean afterwards and you get a lot of usage out of one bottle I think it comes with two when you purchase it but I have been using this for years and if you have sensitive skin this is a good one it's not really beauty but it's kind of like a purse and it's a new purse that I like that I just found I like a crossbody purse that's not super huge and I like one that has a long strap so I found this one recently it's got two pockets on the front it's got pockets inside as well and then it's also got a pocket on the back this sucker can hold a lot of stuff in it which I really appreciate <laughs> because you know I'm a mom and I have to sometimes carry a lot of stuff so I've got a you know significant significant <laughs> significant size wallet that I like to keep because I keep all my receipts in there it's kind of my filing cabinet I can zip it up in it and then have all of these other spaces it comes in a ton of colors I just like I said I found this probably a couple weeks ago and I thought I would share it just because you know if you're a mom on the go especially during summertime this is a good one to be able to carry and it's not super huge all right the last one is probably one of my near and dear favorites I love organizing things and I love containers I found these darling different size containers for kids crafts that I can store things in and they're great in craft rooms as well like this one sometimes you just have balloons <laughs> you don't want bags of balloons sitting all around so I put the balloons in here and my kids know hey if you need a balloon there's a balloon you can go find one 
and like little foam shapes. These are really great. Another place where I have tons of these acrylic storage containers is in our pantry. I'm gonna show you an image of our pantry and I will link all the different sizes that I have in our pantry. That is just so great for organizing food, corralling different types of things together so that kids know where things go and it keeps your pantry clean. This is a new project that I took on this last month because I was honestly sick and tired of having all of these DVD cases that take up so much ridiculous amount of room. I bought two of these CD cases. Now a lot of people are getting rid of their CDs because everything's online now, but I still have not because maybe I'm just old. I don't know. I like to hold on to things because you know, if you have like, you're going out of town, you can take a couple movies with you and you don't want to download them on your phone. Sometimes you're just not a tech savvy person. My husband is, he would just download them. But for me, I can take this entire sleeve and we've got all of our kid movies in one place instead of having tons and tons of ridiculous CD cases that are taking up an entire cabinet. I have two of these. One is completely full and then this one is partially full. And I will tell you, it took up an entire shelf in our cabinet, these cabinets right here behind me. They're upstairs in our living room. And ever since we got rid of all the cases, they're now here in these two sleeves that we can easily carry around and take them with us when we go to places. So we don't have to carry all those cases. This is such a great option. All right, and then here we go. Another storage item that is really awesome. If you have a lot of blankets or extra pillows, when guests come in and out of town, if you have a big family like I do, you can get these totes, these fabric totes, and they're awesome because you can squish down pillows and blankets inside of them. Or if you have kids who have off-season clothes because you live in a state where you have all the four seasons like we do, you can store clothes in them. They're a really nice quality and the handle on them is super awesome. There are five that come with the kit when you purchase it. And honestly, I use them for so many different things. Not just blankets, not just clothes. You can put stuffed animals in them. I mean, seriously, you can put so many things inside of these and they are a great quality. That wraps up my Amazon haul. Can you believe it? I made it through, I think, I'm pretty sure 50 of my favorite things. I will have them all linked down below in the description box. Thanks so much for clicking on this video, especially if you made it all the way through to the end. I hope you find some goodies in here that might help you have a better thriving home and environment around you, or just being able to relax and have fun in your day-to-day -day life with these items that are personal favorites to me and my family. All the Sample kids, my husband, we love these items. We can't recommend them enough. Thanks so much for stopping by and until the next episode, bye friends.